Malaria is a tropical disease. So of course, you only expect to find it in certain countries or regions. And most people know it's caused by mosquitoes, which are parasites. But with treatment, just like you would any other disease, the aim of treatment as a doctor is to help or ensure that you save the life of your patient. But where that treatment is not effective, we say there's treatment failure. But the goal of treatment in malaria is to reduce the parasite level in the blood to zero or to a very insignificant or minute level where the body can just fight it off. So today I'll be sharing with you some reasons why treatment failure can occur in malaria. Firstly, drug resistance. So you've given the patient the right drug at the right time in the right dosage, but the patient is not feeling better or getting better. That's mostly because the parasite is resistant to the medication that you've given, which means the parasite has the ability to still survive in the system and replicate despite absorbing the medication. A classic example of that is chloroquine. It's a widely used drug in the treatment of malaria. But over the years, we've seen so many chloroquine resistance. This is partly probably due to routine exposure. But some studies have also shown that there's something in the genetic makeup of the parasite that makes it less sensitive to chloroquine. And that's why I always strongly advise against self-medication. Because when you're given medication by a doctor or a physician and you encounter a problem, usually an alternative is provided or another medication is added to obviously improve the efficacy or the effectiveness of the chloroquine. Another reason why the treatment for malaria wouldn't work is wrong diagnosis given to you by a professional at the hospital, or of course, it could be an absorption on your end or a self-diagnosis. The hallmark symptom of malaria is fever, which can be found in anything and everything because it's just your body's response to stress. I'll give you an example. Um, somebody who hasn't worked out in years suddenly starts going to the gym every day frequently. You realize that sometimes you now start feeling ill. It's not necessarily because there's an ailment or there's an infection. It's because there's a stressor. So other symptoms that you find in malaria like weakness, loss of appetite, joint pain, fatigue, just that general feeling of being unwell. It's not different from symptoms that you would find in any other illness with fever. When the treatment is ineffective, sometimes it could be because you don't actually have malaria. That's why it's always advisable to get tested before you get treated. Another reason why treatment in malaria can be ineffective is poor compliance or inappropriate dosage. So those of you who never finish your medication, this is for you. Inconsistency with medication can significantly affect your treatment outcome. <laughs> because taking your medications on schedule ensures that you have adequate blood concentration of the medication to actually effect a change. And of course, we can't rule out one of the most obvious reasons, poor drug quality, which is the reason why we have drug regulation bodies all across the world. 